Hi, I'm Chick A. Coleman and I'm the Wheelchair Watcher. This is my review of Better Call Saul Season 2, Episode 3, entitled Amarillo. It was directed by Scott Winnett and written by Jonathan Glatzer. Uh, the plot is as follows. Jimmy bribes a Sandpiper bus driver to allow him to solicit a bus full of Sandpiper residents on their way to lunch. At an HHM meeting, Jimmy presents his client outreach report. Chuck announces his suspicions about the legality of Jimmy's methods. Jimmy manages to deflect the issue. Kim warns Jimmy to keep his methods legitimate, since she recommended him to Davis and Maine, and his actions will reflect on her judgment. When direct mailing potential clients doesn't work, Jimmy films a television ad, which impresses Kim. Jimmy decides to run the ad without prior approval from Cliff Maine or the partners, and it is a massive success. Maine is furious at Jimmy's conduct and demands an explanation from him. Meanwhile, Stacy voices her concerns to Mike about gunshots she heard over the past two nights. Mike does overnight surveillance without Stacy's knowledge and does not hear or see anything out of the ordinary. At work the following morning, Stacy calls Mike. He rushes to her house, where she says there were three more gunshots the night before and points out a hole in her sighting that she typically insists is from a bullet. Despite knowing that there were no gunshots, Mike tells Stacy what she wants to hear, that he will help her get out of the neighborhood. Mike later receives a job offer from Nacho, asking him to take care of a certain guy. So, I have a lot of opinions on this episode. Number one, the idea that Jimmy would go ahead and bribe a bus driver from Sandpiper is exactly what Saul would do to drum up business. I was happy seeing this action and seeing Jimmy basically show up in a Texas hat and the whole Matlock routine coming out again. Really really endeared me to Jimmy's crazy schemes and made me enjoy the opening minutes of the episode a lot. Um, Chuck, again, is continually POing me a bit. He's pissing me off so bad, mostly because he's not giving Jimmy a break. He's not giving Jimmy a chance to really succeed. He wants Jimmy to fail so much that it's just his life mission now it seems um, and the idea that you know Chuck is explaining to anyone who will listen hey my brother's crooked my brother's crooked without any proof makes him seem like even more of a crazy man than he already is um, the idea that Kim would once again uh, nudge Jimmy and ask him to remember to keep things on a straight and narrow was good. I'm always a big fan of Rhea Seahorn and her performances uh, on Better Call Saul. And even more so here when she's, you know, sitting by Jimmy's side. Mostly because if not about a friend telling another friend, don't do that bad thing, it's about a girl really trying to not only protect her boyfriend but protect her own reputation. I really absolutely love that aspect of the show. It made for really intriguing viewing. Uh, I don't like Mike's uh, stepdaughter because I think she might be a schizophrenic. Hearing and seeing things that don't exist. Um, really just strange. Straight up strange. And um, I, I don't really know what to think because we're not really given any idea as to what really is the truth of the matter, I don't think. And that's a bit messy. The fact that Mike decides he's going to make more money to get her out of where she's at is endearing, but also really stupid. I don't really know what to think about that, because I like Mike. And I, I think that he does everything in aid of his granddaughter. Not as much the daughter-in-law, just the granddaughter. 
living a life uh, uh, where she doesn't have to worry about anything because she's already lost so much. Um, in that sense, just a great episode overall. I'm sorry about the cell phone noise in the background, um, but yeah, I really did love Amarillo, uh, and I think it's one of the better episodes of Better Call Saul, uh, despite the issue with Mike's uh, daughter-in-law. Uh, so please let me know what you thought of this episode. Drop a like, a favorite, a share. Uh, please subscribe, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.